Welcome to O2E with Nick E, where we help bring your experiences from ordinary to extraordinary. You may be thinking, Nick, what's going on? There's no one here. Well, today I have the pleasure of interviewing the new club opening team. This team is absolutely amazing. They help open clubs all around North America. They hop on T-minus calls with the leaders. They help do all the supply ordering. And then right before we open, travel to each club destination, help move everything in, help get everything set up, artistry staged and cleaned, and then they head out, but then still support the club for a little bit after. Amazing leaders, servant leaders, work tirelessly to get everyone set up for success. So I, I'm with them this week as we are getting ready to open our one Wall Street location in New York City. You can see that this facility used to be a bank. As you can see, this really cool big bank door behind me. And I thought, you know what? I've got all these leaders in one place. What a great way to learn and just to have, hear their knowledge of all the experiences that they've been through. Now, I will say we are on day two of move in, so we are hot, at, a hot mess kind of, and sweaty and tired, but great nuggets of wisdom coming your way. <laughs> Jackie, thank you so much for joining us on the podcast. Good to be here. So, Jackie, how long have you been with Lifetime? I have been with Lifetime for 22 years opening clubs, and I had three years prior to that, so a total of 25 years with Lifetime. 25 years. That is amazing. I started when I was 10. When you were 10, <laughs> I was going to say 11, 11 or 12. Okay. And how many new club openings have you been a part of? Oh, I get asked that question all the time. And honestly, I have opened all clubs since Schaumburg, and I don't even know what the number is. So, so oh, 22 way over... years worth of clubs. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Way over 100. It's way over 100. And you lead all of the red shirts, as we like to call ourselves. You lead all of the new club opening leads. Such an amazing leader. What is one of the your top leadership uh, things that you just hang your hat on or something that you always just preach or? Um, I've always believed that as a leader, don't ask the people that are working with you um, to do anything that you yourself would not do. So that's a big one for me is that if I'm going to ask you to go in a dumpster, I'm going in a dumpster. Too. And I've seen you in a dumpster new <laughs> numerous you times and I have pictures. <laughs> yeah, I think that's such a great lesson. I learned that early on where I used to have a leader and he was cleaning the bathrooms at camp. I think I've shared this on the podcast before nice. because sometimes there's poop and pee and stuff goes everywhere. And he went in there and started to clean. Yep. And he said, never expect anyone to never expect to do something that you wouldn't do. Yes, I love it. Right. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks for having me. Of course, Rock. <laughs> Mel, thank you so much for being on the podcast today. Thank you for having me. So, Mel, how long have you been with Lifetime? Uh, it'll be 21 years in October. And over those 21 years, how many new club openings have you been a part of? I would say around 104. <sighs> That's amazing. Thank you for that. That's so great. Uh, so out of those 104, or just overall with all of your leadership of Lifetime, what do you think is the biggest leadership lesson that you have either learned or that you like to teach your team? Um, whenever there's a conflict or a bad situation, just remember to not take it personally. It's always about something that's happened. So you may get the feeling that the person's mad at you or unhappy with you. Don't take it personally. Just solve the issue and everything will be fine. I love it. Perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Tammy, thanks. thanks for coming on the podcast. Woo! I'm so excited. I can tell. So, Tammy, how long have you been with Lifetime? October will be 15 years. 15. All right. 25. And how many clubs have you opened during that time? 20 plus I've been a part of. 20 plus. Front okay. end or back end. Sure. Okay. And what's the biggest leadership lesson that you've learned along the way? Get to know your people for their real life. Um, not just how they work and things like that, but have conversations with them and find out about their kids, about their families, about their dogs, their pets, and then really act on that later. Hey, how are your kids doing? And let them know that they care that you care about mm -hmm. them because if you don't, they're not going to want to do as much for you. Yeah, so not the superficial relationship, but really. I've been uh, a really good buddy of mine, David Thomas, who's on the Kids and Aquatics team. He he taught me when you start off a call, you just say, hey, how are you doing? And normally the leaders will go, well, I just hit revenue and I've done this yeah. and I've got out of these classes. And they'll stop and go, no, no, no. no. How are you doing? <laughs> like, Tell me about life. How was your weekend? Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's a, that's a great way to just build that relationship, create that culture of care. Yeah. And then you get to be friends and then you enjoy coming to work. It's not just all work, 
no play. Yeah. It's a little bit of everything, you know, and then they, everybody wants to work hard for each other that way. I love it. That's great. Thanks so much. Thanks. Boom. Adam, thanks so much for being on the podcast. Yeah. Excited to be here. All right. So how long have you worked with Lifetime? A little over 13 years now. 13 years. You're getting old. I am. You're getting up there. You see the hair? It's yeah. going how many new club openings have you been a part of? Uh, a little bit over 50. Yeah, it's been a, 50. Been a good chunk, <laughs> over a third of the company about. Wow, I, I love it. Um, clearly so passionate about it. Uh, what, are, what is a big leadership lesson that you may have learned along the way? Yeah, um, obviously with that tenure of the company, I've gone through a lot of leaders and the fortunate thing for me is a lot of them have been great and kind of helped shape, you know, my pathway and my knowledge and, and abilities with Lifetime. So sure. uh, I would say, you know, the best quality that I've seen from leaders at Lifetime is, you know, lead by example, right? Yeah, as yeah. cliche that, as that is, um, it, it just showcases that if you have the skills, you have the abilities and you can teach someone how to do it, you're going to promote more leaders within the company. Yeah. So instead of saying, hey, go move this kettlebell or, hey, yeah. or, or, or even teaching classes sometimes as well, too. Like I talked with Freeman the other day and he he's still teaching alpha classes. He's oh, yeah. still getting up at five in the morning. I know you're still teaching, doing stuff. Yeah. So lead by example, uh, gain that respect mm -hmm. almost so that people will want to follow. Yeah, 100 percent. You know, you have to have that that passion for what you're doing to let alone have others follow or follow your commands or your whatever promotions or things like that we're running. You know, we see here with grand openings and great examples is, you know, the general managers, the regional directors, whoever it is actually comes out and helps and, and does the move in and gets sweaty with the rest of the team here. Ryan Brister, we'll say <laughs> Ryan Brister was solid. It was solid yesterday. Vice president, it. he was working it, moving in, yep. sweating, yep. all of the, yeah. Definitely so he, grinded it out right there with us. So great example again of a, a tremendous leader for the company here and, and obviously happy to work for him at this destination. Awesome, brother. Much love. Thank you. You got it. <laughs> well, there you go, Lifetime Leaders. You heard from the new club opening team. What great knowledge and passion and experience and overall leadership. So I know that you picked up some great things that you can go out and implement in your teams and your clubs. So thank you so much as always for tuning in. We'll see you next week.